Notice the ball sitting in the plastic bin between the seats of my car. Consider what will happen to the ball as my car goes through three different maneuvers. The first thing we're going to do is start with the car at rest and then I'm going to accelerate forward. Next I'm going to take the car and I'm going to gradually slow down and stop. And then finally I'm going to turn the car to the left. Think about what happens to the ball in all three cases. Moving forward, slowing down and stopping, and finally turning left. Pause the video at this point and see how you do. Okay, let's see how you did. So in the first case, we're going to take the car and accelerate forward. When we do this, notice that the ball goes to the back of the bin. When we start to slow down, the ball moves to the front of the bin. And when we turn to the left, you can see how the ball goes to the right side of the bin. When we were accelerating forward, the ball went to the back of the bin because the ball was at rest originally and wanted to stay at rest. The back of the bin had to push the ball forward. When we were slowing down and stopping, the ball moves to the front of the bin the ball was already in motion and wants to continue moving at that original speed. The front of the bin is what will actually bring the ball to rest. When we turn the car to the left, the ball hit the right side of the bin. The reason is the ball wanted to continue moving in the straight line we were originally traveling toward Williamstown High School. So as we turned, the side of the bin had to push the ball to the left. To summarize, when we accelerated forward, the ball tried to stay at rest. When we stopped, the ball tried to stay in motion. And when we turned, the ball tried to remain in its original direction of motion. These, this is Newton's first law.